morning, ladies and gentlemen. It, it was with great sorrow that uh, I learned about the death of uh, Vice President Garang. As most of you know, I was there in Sudan on the 9th of July when he was sworn in as the first Vice President. And at that time, there was such a, it was such a moment of hope. Here is a man who had lived and fought for peace and won United Sudan. And just as he was on the verge of achieving what he has lived and fought for, uh, he's taken away uh, from us. But what is important is that the Sudanese continue with the process of reconciliation and the process of peace. Here is a man who had lived and fought for peace and won. I was also saddened to hear about the death of King uh, Fad, uh, a man who has done a lot to develop and build his country. I have had a chance to offer my deepest condolence and sympathy to King Abdullah, to the government and the people of Saudi Arabia. Uh, he's a man of great experience, and I'm sure he will uh, be a successful king. I also noticed this morning that the president has uh, appointed uh, John Bolton as the ambassador, permanent representative to the UN. Uh, we look forward to working with him, uh, as I do with the other 190 ambassadors. And uh, we will welcome him at a time when we are in the midst of major reform. To move the process forward, of course, now it is... Yeah, I, I think... Uh, it, 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 is, it, is, uh, it is all right for one ambassador to come and push, but uh, an ambassador always has to remember that there are 190 others who will have to be convinced, or vast majority of them for action to take place. And so I think if one comes with that spirit, that spirit of give and take, that spirit of listening to others, that spirit of working with them in a collaborative manner uh, to seek something that is mutually acceptable, uh, that ambassador will succeed.